guys, how you doing? Surprise! I moved into my time travel, uh, time traveler. This is the Pocket Plus, so it's got the six strings. Um, and this is what I'm going to be in for November, so I wanted to do a quick video to show you how I have this set up. Um, all of the, like, guts of the planning system is exactly the same as the video I posted last week of, um, sort of my October setup and how I'm using it. So I will link below uh, the original October setup and the follow-up like check-in video so you can see how I'm using it. Um, this video is going to be all of the dashboards and sort of decorative things that are kind of in here and making it really exciting and pretty. I'm really excited to be using this and to get it to use the, uh, the new size and the new color. So uh, let's flip the camera around and take a look. I just spent like 15 minutes talking to a camera that was turned off, so if my voice sounds husky, that's why. Um, this shouldn't take too long, um, basically because I'm really just doing sort of a superficial, like this is what it looks like, flip through of this. Um, because like I said, the uh, guts and like function are all in a different video from last week. So check the video below for that. Um, I'm also going to try not to talk too fast because I know I talk really fast when I get excited and I am really excited about this. So um, this is the Chic Sparrow Pocket Plus Size Deluxe Edition Outlander Leather Time Traveler is the color. Um, and this is one of those leathers that I was immediately drawn to when I first started looking into Chic Sparrow. I considered on and off whether I wanted to get a pocket time traveler like way before I um, was ready to move into a pocket. Um, and I'm just so excited that it came in the second chance sale um, because yeah, then I didn't have to make that decision. Uh, it is really this gorgeous blue, very even coloring throughout. Um, not really any like my wine has sort of some different coloration down the spine but this one is really um i don't know the same color throughout whatever adjective <laughs> means that um so it's really dark on the outside if you've ever seen a time traveler in person you'd probably be surprised because it it's sold as like a tardis blue but it's a really dark navy and in different lighting like i'm not sure if this lighting is any good because it's a little bit orange it's looking a little bit orange to me um it probably looks kind of black and it really does uh in yellow lighting look very black in daylight it looks a little bit bluer and the inside is this gorgeous um sort of royal tardis blue so yeah this is the pocket plus so it has six strings so uh, with what four holes so six strings along the top there um, first thing you'll notice is this unwieldy bookmark thing. I had another tab like this that said today and that was here, um, but then I wanted to round the corners because they're not rounded and uh, I ended up messing it up with my corner rounder so I just tied a piece of ribbon to this bookmark paper clip thing from Daiso, this little bow. Um, the problem with it, it's like, it's big, it's bulky, and it's not clipped on really securely. So I keep thinking I'm gonna, I'm sure that it's gonna get popped off as soon as I throw it in my bag and pull it out again, uh, which I haven't done yet since I set it up. I'm actually setting, or filming this video like before November even gets here because I just finished setting up all of the dashboards last night and I am so excited and I couldn't wait to film this and show you all how pretty I think it is. Um, I did uh, set up like these little sections for the next upcoming weeks the same way I had at the beginning of the insert. This uh, field notes is gonna have room for a full two months. Like here's the middle right here is the beginning of the week of the 30th. Um, and I ended up fitting like this last week into just two and a half pages, three, three pages. I'll put Sunday here and then this will be like the upcoming weeks so that if I think of something that I want to get done a specific week, I'll put it in its little section. And I used my um, Uniball Signo Silver gel pen for this just because it's pretty and it sort of matches the washi tape. But told you I wasn't going to talk about the guts. Let's look at the dashboards. Uh, first thing you'll notice probably actually is these tabs. I ended up moving them to the side. I did remake them. Uh, they are a lot bigger than last month's. Uh, last month's were really tiny, smaller font, smaller, narrower tabs, um, shorter tabs, and they were all along the top. Um, I had these three and this one and the one that says today and the notes one. 
Um, so these two are new. I added a tab for my YouTube schedule so I can quickly flip there and a tab for my monthly, weekly, daily checklist, which I'm always flipping to, especially when I'm filming these videos and it takes me forever flipping back and forth. Um, I use this to sort of reference which um, collections I need to check in on uh, every month, every week, every day to make sure that I'm staying on top of everything where it needs to be. Uh, it just, it makes it easier for me. Like I can spread stuff out uh, and then not forget where it is, you know? All right. Uh, this is the same piece of vellum that was around the back insert in last month's setup. Uh, and I just have it around here, this pretty pink opalescent cardstock from Joann's. It is very shiny. It has kind of a, I don't know, I guess a silver, almost blue leaning sheen. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just pretty. And because it's a solid color, it uh, pairs really well with the layered effect of the vellum in the back here. Um, and then the next insert, or this was my, um, like my monthly calendars and my uh, long-term collections insert. This insert is my planning insert and this dashboard was the very first one in my October setup. So you'll recognize this. I really love this paper. I don't know, something about it makes me really happy. So I'm happy to continue using this. I don't know how it got this stain. Like I don't remember spilling something on it, but it looks like I spilled something on it. I don't know. I just ignore it and it's on the back of the insert anyway, so. Okay. This is the same piece of vellum that um, that gave my wine notebook so much trouble. Um, I still haven't managed to clean that off, but for now, um, it's in the middle here so that it doesn't happen to anything else. Um, it pairs very nicely with this scrapbook paper that I also got from Joann's. It's a thinner one and it's one-sided. So I wanted something with a little bit more structure to kind of protect it. And it also, of course, looks really nice with the, the dots and everything. I think that this scrapbook paper is sort of informed uh, the color scheme for this setup with the pink and the blue. This blue matches the notebook so well and the pink is just, uh, it's a really nice combo. I considered turning this uh, vellum, or sorry, this acetate around because the back of these dots is kind of pink, but I didn't because I would have had to refold it and I don't know, plastic fatigue. Uh, so yeah, this insert is my uh, short-term collections and project pages. And then this here is the, uh, the insert that I'm not telling you about. It's actually two Annie Plans narrow little inserts and it has one dashboard around both of them. And this little dashboard came from an Etsy shop called Scrapping Wonders. It's the same idea as like the Foxy Fix or now Chic Sparrow ones where it has a, uh, a pocket. You can insert whatever you want into a little plastic dashboard. Um, I have not used the Foxy Fix or the Chic Sparrow ones so I can't really compare for you. I'm not sure if they are more flexible because this kind of feels like it doesn't really want to bend properly. Um, it's a little bit kind of clunky. Um, it's definitely like homemade by this Etsy shop. I kind of opted for this one because you can get a 20% off discount on your first order if you uh, sign up for their mailing list. So that's cool. And um, also I think she, the Etsy shop owners and the uh, Hurricane Harvey path. So it was cool to support somebody who's, you know, probably going through a lot, but that's not the point. Um, this insert or this dashboard, I mean, is also where I'm keeping my sticky notes in the previous month. These were stuck on this vellum and so you could see the back of them through it, uh, which is slightly distracting, not a big deal, but you know, it's even nicer to have it on the back of a uh, opaque piece of paper. So uh, this is just another piece of the same cardstock that is here. Uh, this one, just cause again, I like it. I don't know, sue me. Um, and then the front here, I actually printed this out, sort of made it myself and printed it out. This is some um, artwork that I got as like a free download uh, online somewhere. The fonts are also free downloads. If you want, I can give you uh, links, but I'm not gonna look them up unless you ask because it's not a big deal. Um, but this is a morning offering, like a prayer that I wanna try to get into the habit of saying every morning. So I thought having it in here would be a really great way to remind myself to do that. And uh, I think it looks really nice on here, especially with the blue that again matches the time traveler really well. So I'm hoping to tell you about this project later this month, but for now, uh, the final insert in here is my general like 
I don't care about this notebook notebook slash uh, brain dump slash like really short term collections and scribbled ideas and just basically scratch paper. So it's great. Um, and the paper around it, again, another piece of the same vellum, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in here. It, uh, it kind of clashes with the paper underneath. It's also kind of thin, and it's just like this one. And I think they kind of go together. They go together really well, actually. The blue is like the same blue, and the pink's the same pink. And I just think it's really nice. It matches pretty, and it looks good. Um, but I'm kind of afraid that the paper would get janked up by being at the end here, where it gets knocked by the pen and stuff. Um, it's probably fine without, and I might just take this out. But for now, it's there. Um, so that's that sort of dashboard. It's, I don't know, does it count as a dashboard or a cover? It's not stapled on. Um, it's wrapped around my inserts and it makes them feel pretty and warm for the fall. Um, this is a different piece of cardboard. I replaced my piece of cardboard. Uh, I use this as a straight edge. I actually this time went ahead and used my paper cutter so that I know that both ends are straight. So if one of them starts to get kind of uh, wobbly, I will use the other side or something. But um, yeah, it's it's fine. Like I don't need a ruler. I just it's a piece of straight cardboard, and it's actually I think thinner than the last one. It kind of has some give to it, which is fine. Um, yeah. So these tabs are on the side, um, partly because like they actually fit, because with the Pocket Plus, there's extra room this way it's like whatever the opposite of overhang is i've got like a good at least half an inch of sort of leeway from the end of the inserts out i could probably add another two or three more inserts um, but i don't really want it to get all cubicle like that like i feel like at some point if we got to that point it would be as wide as it is deep and that doesn't really appeal to me right now at least not for something this size um but anyway, it fits really well with these tabs because if you can see, like this is the farthest back tab. So we have the full half, uh, back half of the whole notebook for the pen to rest in. And so it's, it's quite happy there. I'm not sure how I feel about the tabs like themselves though. Um, I made them using the post-it uh, tabs, the little plastic ones some normal like label Avery label paper that I printed um, this font is called Sophia and the paper is like a scrapbook paper I downloaded it's supposed to look like that paper that has like flowers pressed into it flower petals um, but it turned out a lot more green than I thought it would be I thought it would be kind of an ivory color um, but it kind of it doesn't, it doesn't clash, but it doesn't really match with everything. And I thought it'd be nice to have something a little bit more decorative underneath, but I'm not convinced now that this was the right decorative decoration to have underneath. And also they're just a little bit big. Um, I guess it's fine on the side cause it kind of like this, it kind of looks like a file folder, um, or like an office file of facts or something that, uh, looks kind of professional in a way. Um, so I don't mind them. I don't think I'm going to bother changing them right away, though I might because I'm missing this one. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to do something about this, replace this with a different kind of clip because this one here, I'm just, I'm not convinced of, but anyway, that's what it looks like. And I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. Um, I'm just really excited. I'm at that point where like I keep opening it up just so that I can look at it um, and sort of admire the papers and like the setup. And I'm trying to get myself used to the new order of things. Like I was used to having, I think these two inserts were flipped in my last setup. So just knowing like which direction to flip to get somewhere just takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, yeah, I keep finding myself just picking it up and holding it and uh, you know, putting the the elastic on and off and opening it and closing it, checking my to-do list and going, I don't really feel like doing any of those things, but I'm going to hold this anyway. Uh, but hey, I just got something done. I filmed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoy the view of this time traveler in action. Um, it's been a really popular choice. So even though it's gone out of stock for right now, I don't, I, I have a feeling that like there's a chance they might bring it back, but in, if not, um, 
I'm sure you'll be able to find it in buy sell trade groups because it's been a very popular leather from all the Doctor Who fans and just people who are fans of blue in general which I think is like most people's favorite color um not mine actually I really do like green which is why I'm really bummed that um they they've retired all three of these Outlander leathers, right? The Time Traveler wine and brown coat. Um, and I have I have Time Traveler and wine in Verona, which it re was retired and replaced by brown coat. Um, they're replacing it, well, sort of temporarily. I don't know, it's a limited edition uh, Cyber Monday green that's so gorgeous and would be exactly what I was interested in, except that I don't think, first of all, I'm ready to spend money on another Chic Sparrow. And also I, um, I think my next leather, I want to be a different leather. I think I'm maybe going to get like a Pemberley Fern or something, but that's not for months ahead. I'm just going to be enjoying what I have here. Um, I'm happy to pull this out of its dust bag where it's been sitting all lonely for like a month now um, and to get some use out of it. And uh, yeah, I am not sure whether I will stay in the Pocket Plus or maybe go back to the wine for December because it'll be the nice festive color, but that's not even the point now. I am very excited to just... Look forward to November. It's my birthday month and uh, it's going to be really great with this guy in my purse. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe because I post videos three times a week and you don't want to miss those and uh, comments make my day. So thank you guys for being uh, awesome, awesome viewers and sticking around. See you guys soon. Love you. Bye.